What's good, YouTube? For my last video of Madden 22 content, I just want to first thank you guys so much for your support. Our channel grew a ton in Madden 22, and I think I also got a lot better as a Madden player playing this game, even though at times it was very frustrating um, this year with just the way the game played. Um, I'm really, really excited about Madden 23. If you guys want to support me as a creator, I'd really ask to you, for you to join my Patreon. Um, that is going to be linked down in the description. It just helps you. I think it helps. Uh, it helps me, of course, but it definitely helps you as well. Um, that's where you get access to all of my Madden eBooks uh, by becoming a member. There, you're going to get access to all of our eBooks for Madden 23. Um, as long as you are a member, we've also included with that our uh, eBooks for Madden 22 and Madden 21, and it kind of leads me to what I wanted to talk about today which is transferable conceptual knowledge transferable conceptual knowledge what do i mean by that when i talk about it and it's why i believe in ebooks so much um, i've been a believer in ebooks ebooks is, is the biggest reason why i've become a better madden player that and playing better competition and playing more of course but the biggest thing i can point to is you know ebooks especially early on in uh, being a madden player and the reason why it's been so helpful is because it teaches you concepts if you really look closely at the guides they're not necessarily just about a glitch play here and a glitch play there they're actually about concepts that do transfer not only year to year but they also transfer formation uh, to formation that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit in this video um, so I for those of you that don't know I'm a big time fan of trips tight end I love trips tight end I, I think it's probably becoming quickly trips tight end and spread those two offenses are really two of my favorite offenses you know year in and year out and they're actually really similar if you actually break it down, which I wanted to do in this video, kind of walk you through just a little bit of an overview of how you can take different things you learn from different formations. Every formation has its two to three things that it does better than everybody else, okay? But what you wanna do as a good Madden player is you want to cross apply the information or transfer the knowledge that you've gained from formation to formation. So I couldn't think of anywhere better um, to do that than the New England Patriots uh, playbook. I think they have the best playbook in Madden 23, and I don't think it's necessarily even close, not just for trips tight end, but I'm talking about the overall playbook is really, really good. So just kind of a, a basic starting point with this is, just gonna set a couple key audibles here from diff different formations. You know, be audibling around a little bit in this video as I teach this stuff. Um, and, and I really hope that this is helpful. It's gonna teach you how to build your own offense is basically what I wanna do um, in the video. And I wanna start with um, talking about one of two of my favorite players to watch in Madden. The first one is Spam and Buttons. And it's primarily because he runs trips tight end. And I think he runs trips tight end better than anybody else in, in the um, in the Madden competitive scene. And then Skimbo. I think Skimbo is one of the most innovative offensive minds. I think he's been one of the most innovative offensive minds year in and year out in Madden for years. And so if I want to study Bunch, I'm going to watch Skimbo. If I want to study Trips, then I'm probably going to watch Spamming. Um, I used to watch J Wall and Fancy. Um, they stopped running Trips in Madden 22. Hopefully they'll start running it again in Madden 23. But anyways, um, let's just get into this. So the first thing is Spamming Buttons. His favorite play, he can tell you everybody knows it, is PA Counter Go. It's the play that he calls the most. And last uh, Madden and Madden 21 he was famous for running um, this to the short side of the field to basically get his crosser to get more depth and ground and this was something he was doing in Madden 21 this basic route combination he had a clear out route from his tight end he had an, a backside check down route from his outside receiver and then this guy really was kind of a flat threat he could pull zones and things like that so what you're gonna see here is this is the basic route combination that he would use, and that was really his favorite route. Obviously, if he could catch the ball, um, you know, shout out to the game that he had against Henry, where if he would have caught that crosser a little bit more, and more likely he probably should have, he might have had a better chance of winning that ball game. But anyways, now I wanna to shift to Skimbo this year, one of his favorite route combinations um, that you saw him run on his stream a lot. And, um, you know, and again, just you saw a lot of Madden competitive players run was you know basically two different variations of the same thing in this year's game blocking your tight end was really effective so we're going to block our tight end put our running back on a quick out and then we might put this guy on a deep in route a, sh a shorter in route a cross or some kind of route to where he's going to kind of come back over the middle of the field just like it's very similar um of a concept to what spamming was doing out of trips tight end okay so that's kind of point a about how these route concepts um they, they kind of transfer formation to formation so um, how could I apply that to let's say a gun spread set 
like maybe the play, um, I'll just grab it because I didn't put in my audibles, but maybe the play from uh, Gun Spread that we would take a look at would be something like the play Deep Attack um, because it has this, this stock crosser or this stock kind of like route that's going to cross the middle of the field and, and get into a, a unique position. So we want to give this guy some, some room to run. But anyways, you'll see here, this is basically the same, the same basic idea. Um, we could do something essentially like this and then motion block this guy to the sideline, if you will. And then, you know, we would have, I didn't get the snap right, but you see how I would have the ability to throw the ball, you know, to the tight end. That's how these concepts transfer formation to formation. And so you, I really firmly believe that you can learn from anybody in Madden. Um, I really do. And I think that as we head into Madden 23, the, the route concepts may not necessarily change, but the kind of like how we get to them out of different formations, I think certainly will change. Let me give you another basic concept. Um, something like this at a trips tight end is a flooding concept. We're just trying to get this corner route open Well, we have our clear out and then we have our little underneath flat route. And as you can see, we're able to get the corner route open. Well, how can you run the same basic principle, the same basic concept from another formation? Well, we could go to a play like corner strike out of bunch. And this is really, really effective for, you know, the, the bunch. And now instead of attacking the right side, we're attacking the left side. So what are the things that we learn in a play like corner strike, which has been one of the most popular concepts for years in Madden, is the whole principle of flooding the zones left, flooding the zones right. Let's take a look at another play from trips. PA slot corner would be a great example um, of something where we now have the corner route. And this is why I like trips personally, because I can run a corner route on both sides of the field from the same look. But you see that this is, you know, I could do something like this and I can attack both sidelines with the setup. And then with the back, it leaves me the ability to put him on a play action or to drop him into like a little curl route or something, a little underneath check down, okay? Um, but as you're seeing, that's that's kind of similar to corner strike if you think about it, uh, just in the way the game plays. Um, another great example, let's talk about a route combination that we learned from trips tied in now that is really good for uh, from other sets. So this right here has been good for years. Several refers to this as the idiot beater. Um, you know, this is something that, you know, J Wall started doing, I wanna say in Madden 19. We saw Spoto do it against Skimbo at the Madden Bowl. This concept has been good in Madden for the last three years. It'll be good in Madden next year. Um, you're able to just basically stretch the defense horizontally and just take what the defense gives you. Well, let's take that concept and apply that to another formation. And I'm gonna show you one of Joel CP's favorite route combinations, I wanna say from Madden 18, um, was basically this two by two look. And we were running um, some variation of this hitch and this zig. And then in the middle of the field, we might be doing something something like this, or you know, it could have all, I'm not exactly sure what you did on the back side of it, but the main thing I wanted to show you was this left side here. But this is an example of a concept Right, we have the mesh post little out and wheel concept to the back. We have this little post route from, maybe we learned that from U-Trips, but my point is you see how we're, we're taking principles, right, that we've learned from other formations and applying them to the formation that we wanna run. Whether it be bunch, whether it be trips, whether it be bunch tight end, tight slots, these are all kind of, they're not the same, but they're similar and concepts transfer formation to formation. Okay, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me give you another one that's really good that we learned out of Trips Tight End, and that is the idea of having a little slant post, if you will, or slant cross or combo is really, really, really effective um, for stretching the defense and beating man to man. Let me show you how we can do something fairly similar um, out of the gun bunch, right? We've seen this before. Uh, I'm gonna kind of cheat and use Hot Route Master here for this setup, but basically we could do something um, we could do uh, something essentially like, you know, this, where we have a post, um, we have the wheel to the back, uh, we have a little out, this is basically mesh post, is what I've recreated in this uh, piece here, and then what you'll see is now we can really attack to the sidelines. So the point of, of the video that I wanted to really try to dig into is how you can take formations and you can have key concepts. Let me give you one other one that I think is really important. This concept was really popular this year from Trips Tied In. Well, we can apply this concept to the play that I was talking about out of spread, and just for sake of time, I'm gonna kind of simplify it a little bit here with the Hot Route Master. 
but we could do something very simple like this and I think this is, you know, and this is basically shallow cross, right, from the air raid, which is a real concept that people run on Sunday. This is the basic premise of that. And again, you can transfer these all throughout. So that's why I'm such a big believer in ebooks, because you might learn something in an ebook on Deuce Close that you can apply to Ace Slot or Ace Gun Ace, right? You might learn something out of an ebook that you get on Bunch Tight End that you can apply to Gun Bunch. Um, you might learn something out of an ebook that you buy on Trips Tight End that you can apply to U Trips. These formate the, the routes that you learn, the concepts. And I think one of the most valuable things is that they just give you a different perspective. Shout out to Seth, man. Um, but they just give you a different perspective on the game so that you can, again, kind of expand your knowledge. So, just something that I think wanted to talk about here as we head into Madden 23. It's why I, you know, the main product that I offer here on the channel is ebooks because I think that it helps you get different looks at different formations. It helps you see how um, you can build on all of the uh, material that you have, right? You can always um, adapt and change and learn stuff from a gun spread ebook that will help you out in gun ace close or whatever you're running. So, anyways, just why I'm a big believer in ebooks to become a better Madden player. And if you want to get my ebooks that I'll be offering for Madden 23, make sure you join our Patreon. That'll be linked down in the description below. Uh, if you want to sign up for that, it's just 10 bucks a month, get you access to everything. I've got so many ebooks that I'm already planning uh, for Madden 23 based on what I learned in the beta. We're going to test it all out for you, make sure it still works, and then we'll get it out to you as soon as we can. So, really excited for the next, the, the new year. Thank you guys so much for your support as a channel and just excited to keep growing, keep getting better at Madden. Again, I, I don't think that I've arrived by any means. I feel like my job every day is to get better at Madden so that I can help others get better. And so that's just basically our goal here at the channel. We post videos every day to help you get better. Make sure you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss any of the Madden 23 content that we have as soon as it drops. And make sure you're in the Patreon. If you really want to get serious about the game and you really want to take your game to the next level, I really think that the Patreon is a great way to do that because we literally walk you step by step through how to run trips, how to run new trips, how to have, you know, how to have better user stick, right? All of those things are covered in the uh, Patreon. Thanks for watching. And if you want to sign up for that, link is down in the description.